dumpster diving. What's next in the dumpster? <laughs> we all live in a dumpster here in America. <laughs> Ah, uh, nothing like the first cup of dumpster juice in the morning. Well, this dude lives in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> this little bitch. This little bitch. Uh, okay. <laughs> Man sues hospital for $642 million after witnessing his wife's C-section, saying it gave him a psychotic illness. A psychotic illness, meaning he could never get it up again. <laughs> just, Just admit it. You can't get hard anymore because you saw the insides of your, your... He was given the opportunity to see it and he chose it. What did you think you were going to see? Why does it look like that? <laughs> he was saying he saw his wife's internal organs and blood and was therefore scarred for life. What a little bitch. You know who else is scarred for life? Me from my C-section where I was literally cut in half. We are starting a new award here at Dumpster Fire and it's the Little Bitch Award. <laughs> We have the BDE award, but this one I think is more important since there are so many little bitches out there whining. You'd think in a country that's used to seeing babies pop out of pouches, he would be better prepared for this. <laughs> Maybe that was the problem. You don't see the kangaroo's yeah, exactly. internal organs. It's just like a baby pops out and he's like, oh, that's all. That's how it works. She gets cut in half and he's like, wah, wah. I can't believe I saw organ. I had to see that. She had to live through it. I'm not ready. You're not a man. So apparently this was in 2018 and it basically led to the disintegration of their marriage was the fact that he had to see her C-section. I swear to God. And then I was reading some of the comments and everyone was like, thank you. Bring back the male waiting room. Like, Wow. You guys are all such bitches. Have you never feel dressed an animal? It, it is so funny, the state of the manosphere, because it is a bunch of men sitting around online, often shirtless, <laughs> bitching about the state of women. Like, you guys are such... Go build something. Go do something. Go do something with your hands. Go join the army or be in a war or go work on an oil rig or something like I, I think we might need another war. <laughs> I actually do because men are such bitches. They just like I'm sorry. This this manosphere of like sitting around and bitching is such a female thing to do. <laughs> You've become what you hate, Manosphere. Uh, <laughs> welcome, guys. You are a you all get the little bitch award. <laughs> I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of these like hyper masculine. Like you're online just whining. All the real men that I know aren't online. Yeah. And actually, there was a study that came out that men who are online are viewed as less masculine than men who aren't online. It's more of a female trait to like want to try and get attention and be a whiny little bitch. <laughs> I mean, here I am. I should have billions of views. <laughs> but the men are taking up all the oxygen doing what I should be doing. And getting attention for Which is sitting around and bitching. <laughs> this is a woman's job, and you guys took it. 